Dean, an eventful night here at Kings Lynn. What did you make of it? Yeah, obviously conditions, the weather, what it is, what this division's all about. It's no easy games in the division. Kings Lynn asked a lot of questions of us. And I thought we'd come up trumps with that, you know. Um, obviously we had to make this penalty save with the clear one off the line. In the end, we could have pinched that ourselves. So we showed a lot of character. Walked our socks off once again, and that's all we can ask of our players. You, you said it tonight it was going to be a, a classic National League encounter, and it certainly was, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was, yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, and uh, you give Kings in a lot of credit. I thought they performed strongly within the game. They asked a lot of questions of us, and we come up with the answers, to be honest with you. Uh, ideally, we still got to dominate the ball a little bit better and get in some better areas, but, you know, Wes Fongook, the positives for us is Wes Fongook's been out for a long time, he's back. Um, Rob Hall had a start as well, so. Uh, we're starting to get people back in and around the squad that makes our squad a little bit stronger. Joe Widdison scored a fantastic goal uh, t- um, at the start of the evening. What did you make of it? Yeah, good goal. Obviously, set pieces we've been working on. It was a, it was a sustained attack and we managed to, when the loose ball came out, managed to put it back in again. It was a good delivery. Uh, we felt that was an area we could, you know, we, I think we've scored now. Is it four goals? We've scored four goals in the three games that I've been in charge in anyway. And um, I'm sure that three of them have come from, from restart. So that's the work we're doing on the training pitch, which is good. So it starts with Rob Hall and Wesley Fungook. Uh, must be pleased to see them out on the pitch. Yeah, delighted to have them back. They're both quality players. Um, we've just got to get that minutes right and get and uh, manage them right so they don't break down again. Um, but I told both of them are positive performances, especially Harley at different times. He showed a lot of ability, especially early in the game when we had overloads down that down that right hand side. And he had a couple of good efforts. He could have scored himself. Really, he got some really good areas. So, yeah, good performances from both lads. It was an end-to-end match. Were you disappointed not to get the three points? Obviously, Daniel Power rattled the bar just late on. Yeah, but look, we've had to save a penalty. Um, I thought at one 0 up, we were we were in the ascendancy early in the game, and we never made it to, never made it sort of three. And really, it's going to be like that when you don't, when you're on top and you don't score, it costs you in this division. So, and full credit to them. I thought, I thought they scored a fantastic goal, great strike. It was 25 yard strike. There's nothing we can do about that. You have to applaud that and say it was a great finish by the lad. But we've had a goalie's had to make a penalty save, and then we've had to clear one off the line. And in the end, yes, we could have nicked that at the end when we hit the crossbar on the break. But uh, it was an entertaining game. As you mentioned there, Sam Sargent, another stand-up performer. Yeah, he's done really well, to be fair, Sam, today, yeah. So, that's what he's there for, you know. He's had a lot of penalties to save. And what I would say on penalties, I don't I know Lloyd, the referee, I've, you know, come across him quite a lot. But in my career, you know, I think there's double standards there because he's given a handball uh, against Joe Widdiston and we've had a strike for Mitchie Blunder, which the guy's come out and slid out and tried to make a block and he's blocked it with his hand on the floor, so he's putting his body in a position that's not natural, so I thought we should have had a penalty as well. Um, I'd like to see both back, to be totally honest with you, but for some reason, we didn't get a penalty and they did. There are plenty of positives to take tonight. What, what, what were you particularly pleased by? Character. Great determination, clearing it off the line, the 92nd minute, going up the other end and nearly getting a winner. Just character, togetherness, you know, you've got to roll your sleeves up and that's what we've done tonight. So we respect the point and I think that's very important that, you know, on another day we might have lost, on another day we might have won, but the facts are that it was one all and we respect the point to move on to the next game. The Bees fans travelled here on a cold Tuesday evening, which is great to see, isn't it? Yeah, we appreciate their support, you know, our supporters. You know, it's been a tough couple of years for our supporters. We want to give them something to sing about and I think they saw a lot of grit and determination and a fantastic character from our players today. So we thank them for the support and we wish them a safe journey home.